here with us live now is Amy Martin with Making Strides at the Fox Valley. You have your walk coming up this weekend. Now you're a volunteer, you're yeah. also a survivor. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about, you know, what you learned through your experience with breast cancer. Sure, well I was diagnosed with breast cancer four years ago this month. Mm -hmm. um, I went through a year and a half of pretty severe treatment. You know, but through that experience, I learned how fortunate I was to have great medical care up here in the Fox Valley, and also how I was able to benefit from all the research that had been done in years past to develop treatments for breast cancer. So, so being a survivor kind of led you into this volunteer mode oh, and getting absolutely. a team together and things like that. Tell, me, tell us a little bit about Making Strides and what, what you guys do on those typical days. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is an event that's been going on for many years. This is my fourth year being involved with it. Um, I have a team, both a personal team and I also have a team through my workplace. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so we raise bits of money, you know, and there's no limit to how much you need to raise to be involved in the walk. In fact, there's no fee to participate in the walk. Mm -hmm. um, it's a three mile non-competitive walk and it's just a great opportunity to get out, show our support for those who have survived breast cancer, those who are currently going through treatment, and then also raise money for support and research to continue fighting breast cancer. And let's talk about that. I know a mm -hmm. common misconception is for these fundraisers, you have to raise so much money and right. you have to make such a big commitment, but that's not the case, right. right? No, absolutely. You know, every little bit helps. And that's, you know, what I always tell people when I fundraise, if you can give $5, if you can give $25, if you can give, you know, any amount that makes a difference in continuing to further the fight against breast cancer. And it's not just about raising that money, it's about listening to these to these stories. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's just a great opportunity to get together with other survivors mm -hmm. who have been through a similar journey that I've been through. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, and share stories and celebrate the fact that, you know, it's a tough journey and it affects so many. One in eight women will be affected by breast cancer in their lifetime. So. And almost everyone knows somebody who is impacted by Everybody breast cancer. Everybody knows somebody who's impacted by and it. And it's important to give them their support and things like that that they need. Yes, absolutely. All right, you guys are also doing the Pink Lights campaign again this year too. Mm -hmm. And that is where you can, we have a picture right here where a porch lights, you want them to go pink. Right, right. Okay, and you can pick up these lights at any Ace Hardware in Northeast Wisconsin. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, very important. Just showing more support for breast cancer awareness and the money, money donated goes to making strides right and getting the word out there that you need to be aware and you need to know you know just know seeing the facts that pink light i'm sure mm -hmm. kind of puts a reminder in your head too it sure does it absolutely, absolutely does. very important okay. thanks so much for being with us amy again You're the walk welcome. takes place this saturday at memorial park in nina at 9 a.m if you would like to sign up donate or just like to take part just visit our website nbc26.com and click on the story thanks so much and good luck with the walk this year